yeah options OI stats so the regular tool is over here but we have an updated version which uh, is over here under beta options OI stats so this is going to be moved here so it's best to use this one right now and that is what I'll be discussing over here uh, so this tool is used for uh, analysis of uh, open interest. So whatever uh, symbol you have selected over here, uh, latest over here means that you're looking at today's uh, latest data. And historical means you can go back and check uh, any previous expiries data. So here Nifty is selected and the expire, this expiry is selected. And uh, I've selected near ATM seven strikes. So ATM here selected is synthetic futures price, which we feel is the right to uh, mark the ATM. So we use synthetic futures price, which we call a fair price. And uh, seven strikes is what over here that you want to see. You can look at all strikes, but I think it's going to be more clear if you're looking at uh, uh, near ATM, if you want to analyze few strikes, it's going to be much more clear. So this top two uh, images show you uh, the total open interest as of now for the script, for this expiry. And the number of strikes that you have selected get shown over here and call and put open interest is shown over here. And this hollow data, hollow area that you see on some of these bars is the unwinding that has happened. Uh, it just means that uh, the OI was max at this point during the day and then it fell over here. And this is what it is currently. This is the current OI. In this case, there was no unwinding. So it's the whole thing is the OI right now. So, and if you want to hide these legends over here, then you can select this. So this goes away, even this goes away here. Uh, so, and if you want to see, then you can, you can. And uh, this data of, of the bars that yeah, are there, that if you want to see that, then click on show chart tool tips, and then you'll be able to see all the details of the data. That is it. So, uh, and the other thing is that you're looking here, and this is being shown in terms of lots over here, because lots is selected over here. So you can select quantity also, so coin quantity, and you can also select in value. So value is uh, just the quantity multiplied by the LTP of uh, call output. So that's the value. So this is what it is. And now these, these two charts at the bottom here are showing you the total OI change. That is today's. And uh, this is the OI change for these strikes. Now here, you only selected, which is by default, once the market closes. So, and the UD data, UD data gets updated. UD data is updated after market close uh, using the bar copy. So we do a final sync here. So if you want to see only until 3.30, then you need to click this button, intraday. So now this shows you only till 3.30. And the OI change itself uh, that you see, so by default, it's intraday OI change. That means that it is current OI minus the morning's first OI update. So that is just today's OI change. If you want to see, compare it with previous day's closing OI. So then you can select over there, this intraday. So it's from today's current OI minus previous day's closing OI. And then you also have uh, different uh, time intervals. Uh, so if you select, say, maybe 15 minutes, so this will show you just the 15 minutes, last 15 minutes, uh, latest 15 minutes OI change. So you can you can click this over here, and then it'll take you to the start of the day. And then you can, if you want, you can you can step every five minutes, or you can step every 50 minutes, or whatever. So you can check every 15 minutes what's the OI change over here and total OI change over here. So this this is a good option because you could uh, step through the day if you. Uh, if you want to quickly check something, you can do it during the day also uh, to see since morning what has happened, how the uh, Y change has changed. So open interest, how it has changed. You can step it every 15 minutes and check. 
And you can also, uh, this also tells you uh, who is in control, right? Sentiment-wise, the open interest-wise, who is in control. So here it tells you that, uh, let me go to the start. It tells you that uh, call Y change is more. So today, since morning, since we're looking at intraday and intraday Y change. So this is since morning in the, between this and this time, the first 15 minutes. So this is what is the Y change. So call Y change is significantly more than put Y change. So it's uh, more or less bearish. The sentiment is bearish. It may not be really bearish. So that you'll have to, this just tells you about the open interest sentiment. You'll have to go back and confirm it with price. If price also is trending down, then this, it just confirms your open interest view. Uh, so you can step through 15 minutes and 15 minutes and see how it is changing. You can also do it every 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever. Now you see something like this, it means that it's very much bearish, very, very bearish. So that is what this tells you. So you can step throughout the day and check how it is changing right now. Then some put buildup has come in. It was bearish for, for a while and then the put buildup has come in. So then you can go to your price charts and see what is really happening. So you need to combine uh, this open interest analysis with uh, the actual price analysis on a future chart or a options chart or premium DK. Premium DK uh, together with this particular chart uh, plays really well so because this tells you what is happening uh, sentiment-wise, uh, how the traders are getting positioned in the market. And then premium DK actually tells you the uh, how the premiums are changing. So whether it's market is really doing what uh, the sentiment is telling you. So combination of these two, it's uh, very important and you can use that. So about this, you can you can use all these intervals and then you can step and go back and forth. When you are now during the market hours, if you're checking previous, I mean, you are, you're going to the start of the day and then you're stepping uh, and you quickly want to now jump back to the latest, you just click auto update range. Uh, that's it. And uh, it will immediately jump to the latest data. Now this, since market is closed, so it's uh, telling you, it's just showing you the last 15 minutes. But uh, during the day, if you are somewhere over here, then it'll just come back here and keep updating live and it'll keep showing you the last 15 minutes or based on whatever if you are using. If you are looking at 60 minutes, then it'll show you 60 minutes. So uh, auto update ranges, make sure this is selected when you're looking at live data. So you get keep, it keeps updating the data. If this is not uh, clicked, this is not enabled during live market, then it will not uh, change. I mean, it, it, data gets updated, but it will not take you to that, the latest data. So you need to click this and make sure this is on when you're looking live in the market and when you're monitoring it. You need to uncheck this only if you want to check uh, the previously what has happened. So instead of unchecking, you, you can just click on this start, then it will automatically get unchanged, unchecked. Then you can step, uh, let's say five minutes, 15 minutes and all that. Then you want to go jump back to live data. Just click here, it will jump back to the live data. So, and again, if you want EOD aftermarket hours, you can click here. If you want to look at the EODs, Bhav copy sync data. And if you want to look at here itself, if you now want to look at the whole day's data, click on go to data. So it will show you for the whole day, whole day, this is what has happened. So instead of time intervals, you're looking at the whole day's data, whole day, these were the changes that have happened. So I hope it's clear. This is about uh, options, why stats.